All right, so we're back with another video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We got a crank position sensor on a 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're gonna be changing the crank position sensor on this. Basic tools, all you need. Location is on the left hand side of the vehicle, so passenger side. But yeah. Okay. too well but i see you see this wire right here follow this wire um, follow this wire right there since it's gonna be right um, try to get this light in here right there hold in about one 10 millimeter bolt take that connector off and then yeah take the connector off and then get the bolt out I'm trying to see if i can do this Someone got me a pick tool. And I'm trying to get the camera. Do this at the same time, but it's kind of hard. So, don't pull that red tab back. Oh my God, Mario. Like that. There you go. Don't pull that red tab back. I don't know if you've seen that. You probably heard it, but. As I can see, the red tab is back. Get your hand in there. Disconnect it out. Like that. Push this to the side. So, see, this is the red tab I was talking about. You're going to push this back. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt. So, I catch on when you get that out. As y'all can see right there. And you got the bolt. Oh, 10 millimeter bolt. Put that somewhere, don't lose it. And it should just come out. Hold on, let me get this flashlight. Just pull it out. Just like so. And this is the old one. See? Yeah, get a new one and put that back in and show y'all. Got the new one and it's gonna go in. You just repeat the steps that you did in reverse. But I gotta find that one. Let's see. Show y'all. Right here. Oh, should be right here somewhere. I think. Oh, it's right here. Right. Hold on. Anyway, it's in the it's back in the block. It's just, it's back in the block.
and this don't have to be too tight because it is plastic the symptoms for this was the car not cranking sometimes it wouldn't even turn on and um continuous crank no stop and then you want to take the mantle again if i can find it if i can find it so right here so like this it's not hard to do this with one hand so i'll get y'all when it's back in see um hold on try to get y'all angle see it is possible to get you a smaller wrench not wrench but y'all know what i mean ratchet whatever you want to call it and it don't have to be too tight literally just two fingers go down until you can't go down no more and you're done with that part you're gonna take your tool back off the size ratchet that I'm using it's pretty small then you're gonna take this connector right here and remember the red to the outside red not towards the block so that's the connector piece oh sorry I'm try it right here and you're just gonna slide it back on like that so you hear a click huh? get my flashlight again like so I don't know why it's not focusing, don't really care. Anyways, I'm gonna go back over here, like so. You're gonna push into the clicks and then you're gonna push that red piece down. And then you have this right here, just gonna push this back over it. it is, all it is is an insulator for heat. Push that back over it. And then this should be done. Yep. And you're done. Now we're gonna crack it up and see what it does. So like I said, if you were having a problem with no crank, no start. I mean, yeah, no crank, no start. And then um, constant crank, no start. That should have been the problem. And we're gonna see what it does. I've seen car cranks up with no problem now. Some people say it's the fuel pump fuse. It can be that or it can be the um, crank position sensor, which I believe this was what the problem is because we put a fuel pump relay in it. It's a relay. Fuel pump relay on these go bad and the crank position sensors go bad. But anyways, catch on in the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. If this helped you at all, make sure to leave a comment. And yeah, on to the next video.